Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. Today I want to dive into a bit of theory crafting and uh, the thing we're going to take a look at is going to be the new class Falconer and more specific a viable Ballista build. So the Ballista has been around forever but sadly it's not been uh, the easiest ability to build around. Uh, but now with the new Falconer class for the Rogue it finally seems uh, to get a bit of more support and actually look uh, quite nice. So at first look here, the items that we have here are basically your standard setup if you want to go a normal hit version of Ballistas. And I think you just let them be here for now and with 1.0 I'm pretty confident to say that we are going to get some new uniques that will benefit this build. But let's just go over quickly what we got here. The build is mainly built around Morning Frost which will give us flat damage per point of dexterity, then a poor portion of this damage will get transferred to our ballistas. And the great thing here is also that the ballista also scales its damage from dexterity as well. Uh, we get 4% increased minion damage and 1% attack speed per dexterity. For the falcon the same goes here as it also scales from dexterity. Both of these skills also scales from minion damage and minion physical damage which also synergizes really well between them. However, in this setup we're going to mainly use the Falcon as a support minion, uh, you could say, and the main damage is still going to be from our Ballistas. And before we go over the skill trees here, we just want to go over how the build is functioning real quick. So the main idea here is that we are using our Ballistas as our main source of damage, and then the Falcon, which is just a passive minion, that will fight for us, and it's also invulnerable to damage, and as mentioned, this is going to be more of a support minion, granting us health and mana, for example, when it kills an enemy or hits a rare or a boss. And this would be really helpful, especially for the mana part here, as Ballista builds usually struggle on having mana. The Falcon will also have a chance to drop a black arrow when it hits an enemy as well. And each time we pick up a black arrow, this will boost the damage for our Ballistas and also healing us and give us glancing blow chance and dodge rating. Then we have a dive bomb which is going to boost the damage for both the Falcon and the Ballistas and making enemies just take more damage at the same time. And lastly we're using Aerial Assault and this will work as our mobility skill and also at the same time each time we've used this this will boost the damage by our Ballistas by a ton giving us a lot of damage multipliers. So there's the basic around the build. Now let's take a closer look for each skill, starting with the Ballistas. So Ballistas, no questions here, uh, summon a Ballista that fire bolts at nearby enemies. By using practical build we get more damage and also attack speed but we will lose some duration. Shared enhancement makes it so our damage modifiers now also applies to our Ballistas uh, at a reduced ratio. Vodkin Bolt, just so we can pierce enemies. Sharpen tip for some base crit chance and perfect aim makes so all the crit chance and multipliers now also applies to our ballistas. Bolt rain can be nice too and to give a small chance to provide some extra projectiles for our ballistas. And now one of the new skills the falconer and this will summon a falcon that will fight with us and this will also have an active skill the falcon strike that will rapidly hit many enemies in the target area. Hunter's Spoil is one of the great passives here, uh, which will give us health per 2 total attribute and also we get mana per 40 total attribute. And uh, this will grant us when uh, the Falcon will kill an enemy or hit a boss or rare enemy. So this will be mostly helpful when doing a boss fight and we pretty much solve the mana issues of uh, any Ballista build I feel. And with this build we can get pretty high numbers of attributes. Uh, this is however pretty insane gear that I'm showcasing here right now. So take it with a bit of salt. Dark Plumage is another one that I mentioned before. And this will make our Falcon hit an enemy. It will now have a chance to drop a black arrow. And obviously both of these we want as much hit as possible. So that's what we are specced into here. Uh, Avian Stamina for example hit additional times. We have the Blood Dance which will do additional hits as well. 
And then we also have Trained to Hunt, a portion of the highest of your global increase melee damage, increase throws damage, and increase bow damage. Uh, now apply to all your Falcon's damage. And this is really great as the same applies to our Ballistas there. This is only going to be applied to increase though, not the flat damage as for the Ballista. So going for increased bow damage will now also apply to the Falcon. Go for the eyes, same here, but for crit chance, same as for the Ballista. But for this case we don't get the multiplier, only the crit chance. And then we also have Falconer's Journey. This makes our Falcon deal more global damage per character level and per point of dexterity. And as you might saw before, we have over 180 dexterity on this character. That's a pretty insane number of uh, damage multiplier. It will be very interesting to see how this all scales uh, with the Falcon here, uh, as we do get flat damage from dexterity as well uh, to the Falcon by being the Falconeer. Aerial Assault, another new ability. This makes us uh, leap towards the target and the Falcon will dive and catch you and momentarily carry you further. So this will work as a mobility skill. So the new GG node here is going to be Tactician. After landing all of your active ballistas, prioritize target around you and deal more damage per intelligence as well as gaining increased attack speed. And uh, first of all, the increased attack speed buff from this is just insane, 75%. Uh, but then now also we get Ballista damage per intelligence. So this is really interesting, as this opens up a whole new level of scaling damage. And maybe they will add something else that will benefit uh, uh, the rogue from Int. I'm guessing that they will. Something to do with ward, I guess. I should get ward retention from uh, intelligence. But we just have to wait and see, I guess. We also have uh, Healing Gust, and this will recover uh, a portion of our health. Pretty huge amount there, I feel, every time we use Aerial Assault. Also Refreshing Resolve, and this will help out with some mana here. Not sure if we will need it, but uh, I figured why not. Aerial Proneness. For the next 8 seconds, after using Aerial Assault, Critical Strike dealt by you or your Falcon grant you a stack of Aerial Power. And these stacks will grant us uh, a lot of different bonuses. Here we get some extra damage, uh, we are getting Haste and Frenzy. And also we get a chance to get the stacks uh, when we're not dealing a crit from this. But then we have this one, Terror Wing. Directly using Ballista, Explosive, Trap or Dive Bomb now also consume your stack of Aerial Powerness, applying the damage bonuses to the ability that consumes them. So this we can use with Ballista and this means when we are using this, uh, the Ballista will get uh, the more damage, it will also get the Frenzy which is really really nice, more attack speed. Do keep in mind that uh, the Dive Bomb will consume this as well. Using Ballista before we use Dive Bomb will be crucial uh, to get most of this effect. And Dive Bomb, what is that you might ask? Well, Dive Bomb makes your Falcon ascend high into the sky and then Dive Bomb the target location at high speed, dealing high amount of physical damage to enemies in the area. So, here we are not going to use this for damage purpose. Uh, it might be really really good, we just have to wait and see I guess. But as I have set it up, it's more of a, a support skill. First we have Flesh Tearing Talons and this will make Fiscal Resist Shred Stacks by 5. We also get some Slow Stacks here. Moving on here, Critical Vulnerability Stacks. And then we also have Talon Blade. Dive Bomb and Featherfall Hits grant you a stack of Tail on Blades for 18 seconds. And this will increase Critical Strike Chance and Critical Strike Multiplier. As mentioned before, Critical Strike Chance and Multiplier will all be transferred to our Ballistas and uh, the Falcon will also get the Crit Chance here. We also get a small move speed buff here from Gale of the Blades. And Feather 4 will make the Falcon shoot out razor sharp feathers to strike enemies and just providing us more uh, stacks of the tail on the blades here. And for last we're using Dark Quiver and uh, we're not going to use this uh, skill manually. 
as it will get proc'd from the falconry from Dark Plumage here. So, each time we're picking up a black arrow, we will get 60 health. Also put some point here in Frenzy. And Nightfall will give us a stacks of Dusk Shroud for 4 seconds, granting us a glancing blow and also dodge rating here. But we also get flat bow physical damage for our ballistas here from the perfect bolt. And these are also providing some extra attack speed. And then we also have heavy artillery, which makes our ballistas that has been buffed by at least four black arrows now always deal a critical strike. And here you have the passive skill tree. I just go over them real quick here. And you can pause the video if you like. Or you could also go to Lost Epoch Tools and check them out more for yourself. So there we have the theory crafting of a hopefully new Ballista build. I will try and go over it more as we get into the release of Lost Epoch. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. If you got any other questions, feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. I'd also like to know if you have any build ideas that you are going to try out in the upcoming 1.0 release. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!